Hey there guys, it's Rick Utzel here again for Air Gun Week. We're not done, we've got some more cool air guns. This is certainly not a new air gun, but when you go to SHOT Show and you go to the range or any of that stuff, it's not about just seeing all the new stuff. I mean, that's cool to do that. But you also get to get reacquainted with some really cool older stuff. And I guarantee you, if you went to any old timer air gunner and you said, hey, what do you think of the Sumatra 2500? They either love it or hate it. Most of the time, they really, really love it. Well, I was one of the guys that didn't love it. Not that I didn't think it, was a, it wasn't a great air gun for power and accuracy and that. The ergonomics just did not work for me. I didn't like the way it cocked. I just, it just didn't fit me well. Well, evidently, Air Venturi, you know, they had enough people that had the same, you know, suggestions. They created this guy. This is the Seneca Eagle Claw. It's available in different calibers. I, this is the 25. Now, I did a video some time ago, gotten a little hot water over it. Uh, maybe got some, you know, people got the knickers in a twist a little bit, where I said, this is my go-to 25 cal hunting rifle. And frankly, it still is. Um, and I think you're going to see why here when I demo this for you guys. This thing is just awesome. The ergonomics are far better, in my opinion. They've mitigated the sound. They have this huge air cylinder, so you get lots of shots. And you know we talk about air guns that you can adjust and tinker and fiddle and, uh, well, the beautiful thing about this is you can do that. And, and it's just that wheel <laughs> underneath. You just turn it to where you want it. Hook your chronograph up, see where it's running. Oh, you know, at this power level, I don't get any more benefits. So I can leave it here and get more shots. This thing is awesome. If there's another gun that I want to spend some time with trying to find a slug that'll run well, it's this one right here. So maybe that's going to be another one of my projects coming up this year. Enough of that. Let's do some shooting, man. Um, another still gorgeous day today. Um, we're shooting at 50 yards, um, which is, you know, pretty good uh, for our little demo range today. One of the things that gets people kind of hung up is the magazine loads a little funky. You load it, you load the pellet skirt first from the front. Um, and if you, you don't read the manual and you try and load it from the back, you get all kinds of problems. So uh, that's one of those little funky things. But I am going to grab my phone and we'll get some crony numbers because I don't, I was shooting it for accuracy, things shooting great. So I didn't check power levels. I was sitting in my gun safe. This is my personal gun. Um, but I, I, I don't know what, I don't remember what I have for power levels. So we'll go ahead and get the phone out. And then what I wanted to do is just kind of go from the right at the bottom end all the way to the top end, just so you guys can see the range that this can get just raw power. We won't fuss with accuracy on that, but we'll just, so you guys can just see what it can do uh, power wise. I think that would be pretty cool. Let me grab my phone. So we're going to be running the FX chronograph. I tell you guys all the time how much I love that thing. All right. So we're running the Mark II heavies. These are 33.95 grain. So I'm going to go get this set up and we'll be right back and do some shooting. All right, let's see. I don't know where I am on my power setting right now. Somewhere in the middle, I think. If I remember correctly, I think I set it um, right about where it, it doesn't do me any good to go higher. I think that's where I'm at. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna take just a practice shot to make sure I am where I need to be and then I'll put it on target. Okay. All right, here we go. Whoa, I aimed way off. Okay. That was my fault. Out. Okay. I think you guys see why I like this. If you're out in the field and you're short of having a semi-automatic air gun, the ability to just rack and fire and maintain that kind of accuracy 
is awesome. All right, I shanked my first shot. My bad, sorry. But the rest of them, I mean, come on. I was not shooting slow uh, or taking my time. I was just literally gripping it and ripping it. And we're looking at probably an inch or so. And we got some wind, more windier conditions, more windier. Ooh, that's terrible English. We have windier conditions now than we did earlier today when we were filming. So this thing will absolutely push. Now, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead. By the way, this is unregulated. So if you're looking for a regulated precision gun, this isn't it. This is just about putting lead on target from a hunting perspective. And even though we had a fairly significant spread, uh, which was like a 58 foot per second spread, that's, that's a big spread. It did not have any impact on our point of impact um, there. So that was, I could sort of show you that if you chase numbers, um, you, you may find yourself going backwards. I mean, obviously, as tight as you can get it is just what you want for bench rest or competition. But if you just want to put lead on target in a hunting situation, this gun is awesome. Okay, so we are loaded. I'm gonna put safety on. I'm gonna roll this over and I'm gonna go, let's see, we're gonna go, that's high. Okay, okay, so we are, okay, there's one. So let's get our crony, and I'm not even, I'm not gonna try to shoot the target, I'm just gonna see what low power does. You guys ready? Here we go. Safety. So low it didn't register. <laughs> I'd have to adjust the profile. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go, let's go up a little bit. See where we get when we start getting some activity here. Three. I've got three notches. 770. Okay, there's 770 at three. <laughs> let's go six. Okay, let's go to nine. Eight hundred thirty-three. Okay, see so now we've we're we're really not getting any benefit. So, if you had something heavier, like a slugs, that extra power we're putting in there would probably matter. And that's why I want to try and find slugs for this gun. Let's just see real quick what we're getting for power. Uh, we're at. 55, almost 54.9 foot-pounds um, was right around our high. Yeah, so up to 55 foot-pounds, down to what registered, let's see, 44 foot-pounds. I, I wonder if we can get the lowest to register. Let's see. Um, we're go this way. That's high. All right, so let's do two. 700. Yeah, it's really that, um, with these pellets uh, and the way the chronograph's set up, you have like 768 to 8 and some change. So not a huge variation there, but I would be curious to see what we get with slugs. So another thing we'll do later this year is bring out the old eagle claw and have some fun with it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just shoot another group because I can. I mean, it's just too much fun to not. Let me load it up again here. Maybe turn it up to six power, which is probably where I was running. See where I'm hitting, go from there. All right. All right, so we're gonna go low power, one. Coming off that first notch can be hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I was, yeah, I was up a little higher when I started. All right, Let's see where six puts me. Uh, 850, I mean, that's putting me at, that's 54.4 foot-pounds, right? Okay. All right, I'm going to take a practice shot. 849. Okay. And I'm just going to shoot at the target to the left of the bull there. Let's see where we hit. stiff. Okay, there it is. Eight hundred. Nope, dropped a little bit. Eight hundred. Forty-two. 
800. Right, pushing. 849, 844, 851, 800, 44. I want to shoot another grip. <clears throat> it's really pushing to the right. Don't know why it's pushing to the right, but it is pushing to the right. See if I can get it somewhat centered. It seems pretty even on my shot count that last one through 840s, 849s. So it was much better on the extreme spread that time through. Let me get it locked in here. Okay, so we are about two mils. I'm having to aim up a little bit with this scope. So we're all two mils high and to the right. If I could put it right, let me try. I'm gonna go below that last one. Let's see what we can see if I can do my job here. Let's see. Eight hundred twenty-three. Eight hundred nineteen. Eight hundred forty-four. Eight hundred thirty-seven. Eight hundred fifty-six. Eight hundred fifty-eight. 865, 856. Yeah. Well, as you can see, a little scope adjustment, and I'm going to be right in the kill zone for whatever I want to be hunting. 55, and I think we topped over. Yeah, we went to 56 foot pounds that last time through. And just a great shooting air gun. I love this action. This is what I love about it. Um, Anyway, just awesome. I want to say thank you to Air Venturi, Pyramid Air, uh, for helping us out with this. Guys, thank you for watching Airgun Week. If you like these videos, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And we've got a lot more, got a lot more to show you. So we're not done yet, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching.